This video will show you how to create a new Moodle space using Wolfware. To start, go to wolfware.ncsu.edu and log in using your NC State Unity ID. The first screen will be your My Wolfware page, with several tabs at the top. Any registration and records courses for which you are listed as an instructor in the current semester are listed under Current. Courses for future and past semesters can also be viewed under the corresponding tabs. The Projects tab is for spaces that are not tied in with registration and records. You can use project spaces in a variety of ways. For non-credit training courses, as a prep space for developing your course, or for testing out other Wolfware tools. If you are using Moodle in your courses for the first time, we recommend that you develop it in a project space. This gives you the freedom to try out different features and make changes in a private space without the risk of confusing students with frequent changes to your live course. Once you have made all your changes in the project space, you can then copy them over into your actual course space. We'll cover that process later in this video. To request a Wolfware project space, simply click the Request Project Space button. Review the policies for using Wolfware project spaces and acknowledge that you have read them by checking the box. Confirm that you will not be using your project for generating revenue by selecting the radio button. Enter a name for your project space. You may want to use the course number and then add the word prep or development. Then click the request project space button. The next screen will be the course management page. You can see that course management is highlighted in the menu at the left. Scroll down to the table of available tools. This is a list of the various Wolfware tools and whether they are currently active in this Wolfware space. Since this is a new space, you'll see that none of the tools have been activated yet. To use Moodle in your space, click the Activate link next to Moodle. This will take you to the Moodle settings page. You can see that Moodle is highlighted under the Wolfware tools menu at the left. In each of the settings boxes, you can click the blue tooltip icon to learn more about that setting. The short name will be displayed on the course banner at the top of each page in Moodle. By default, it is set to the Wolfware project space name or the course name. You can change it here if you like. The availability settings allow you to set dates for when you want the course to be visible to students. If you are editing a Wolfware course space, the default start date is the first day of classes and the default end date is three weeks after the end of the semester. Since this is a Wolfware project space, there's no designated end date. The last setting is the Moodle course copier, which enables you to copy all of the Moodle content from any Wolfware space that you own. For example, if you have finished editing your Moodle content in a project space, you can copy it into your course space. You can also just create a blank Moodle space or use the Quick Start Course Shell template, which has recommended layouts and initial course resources. In this example, I will be using the Quick Start Course Shell. Once you are done managing the Wolfware Moodle settings, click the Create My Moodle Space button. It may take up to an hour to complete the process once it is ready, you can go back to your My Wolfware page, find the space you created, and see the Moodle icon to the right. You can go to the Moodle space by clicking on the Moodle icon or by clicking on the new name. Since this is a project space, you'll see Moodle projects at the top. Click the large red button to access your Moodle space. Congratulations! You now have a Moodle project space in which to build your course. You can use the My Courses link at the top to get back to a listing of all the courses you are enrolled in as a student or teaching as an instructor. You can scroll down to find these different courses. You can also select the My Dashboard button at the top to go to a calendar of upcoming activities and due dates. You may want to bookmark the My Courses or My Dashboard page so you can access it more easily. Note that you will need to bookmark a new page each academic year. When you are ready to start editing your active course for the current or upcoming semester, you'll need to request a Wolfware course space. Locate the course under the Current or Future tab and click on the gear icon to the right of the course name. You can then click the Request Wolfware Space button and then the Activate Moodle link. The settings for a course space are similar to those for a project space. 
In addition to naming and availability, you also choose options in the course format by choosing a number of topics or a weekly format. You can leave the number of topics as default and change these later within Moodle itself. If you have Moodle content in a project or previous semester course, you can use that Moodle course copier to copy it into your active course space. Under Source Course, select the project or course that contains the content you want to copy. Then click the Create My Moodle Space button. The copy process may take a few hours to complete. Once you receive an email telling you that the course copy is complete, you'll be able to access the copied content by clicking on the course name in your My Wolfware page. Now that you know how to create a new Moodle space, you can view additional videos to learn how to navigate and edit in Moodle.